Hi guys. Now, for you to understand on the concept of work, earlier I have taught you the definition and I gave you the example that if the force and the displacement is perpendicular, that means no work is done. Now, these two examples that you have uh, is to explain to you how work is done. Okay. Now, if you look at this person, all right, orang didi saja, huh? minta maaf. Now, this person over here carries the ball from point A to point B. Okay? Now, when the ball is carried from point A to point B, let me draw for you the forces involved. Huh? First, the weight of the ball is moving downwards. Correct? Now, the direction, he is now carrying the ball on top. The direction is moving on top. Okay? Now, if the weight and also the direction is parallel to each other. You can see one down, one up. So, technically, that's parallel to each other. If it's parallel, we say work done. Okay? Now, if you look at the other example that we have here, this block over here is being pulled by a force of 100 newtons. Now, look at the direction of the force moving over here to the right. And this is the direction over here of the motion. The direction of the motion is also moving to the right. So, this two over here, we say both force and direction is parallel to each other. That's why this two example, we say over here, work is done. Okay? Now, for my next video, guys, I'm going to explain to you on the concept of energy. Alright? Now, just recap a little bit of work. Just remember, work is the product of force and displacement where the displacement over here moves in the direction of the force okay and the unit for work is given to you as joules and work over here equals to force times displacement that is the formula all right guys and remember it must be again parallel to each other your both forces the direction of the force and also your uh, direction of motion okay i've done about work huh now look at my next video i will explain to you guys about energy all right